Welcome to our latest Global Skills Opportunity presentation here at the McMaster Health Forum at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I will provide an overview of the McMaster Health Forum as well as the Global Skills Opportunity Program, and then I'll turn things over to our GSO awardee presenters who will describe for you what they learned during their Global Skills Student Mobility Experience. The McMaster Health Forum is a leading hub for improving health outcomes through collective problem solving. We harness information, convene stakeholders, and prepare action-oriented leaders. We aim to be an agent of change by empowering stakeholders. The Global Skills Opportunity Student Mobility Projects aim to empower Canadian students, especially underrepresented students, to take advantage of international learning experiences and to develop skills such as problem solving, adaptability, resilience, and intercultural competency. While open to all undergraduate students, the national program targets groups for whom international experiences have traditionally been less accessible, specifically Indigenous students, students from low-income backgrounds, and those with disabilities. The program also aims to diversify the destination countries where Canadian students pursue international learning. The McMaster Health Forum is proud to have been selected to host a Global Skills Opportunity Student Mobility Project until the end of March of 2025. This project will enable emerging leaders with the McMaster University's undergraduate community to build knowledge and skills to support health and social system strengthening internationally. We will leverage McMaster Health Forum's programs to support skills development in policy, political, systems analysis, evidence synthesis, and stakeholder engagement while building on our experience with student mentorship, leadership development, and facilitating international exchange. On the screen now, you'll see all the students who have engaged in the McMaster Health Forum's GSO program up to this point, with many more still to come. One of our presenters today is Alexandra, who at the time of the GSO experience was an undergraduate student pursuing a Bachelor of Health Sciences degree and an interdisciplinary minor in Globalization Studies with a focus on globalization and health. Through the GSO program, Alexandra aimed to develop strong intercultural communication skills nurture a competency for problem solving in a global context, and gain a greater understanding of the Indian health system. The other GSO presenter today is Vidi, who at the time of the GSO experience was an undergraduate student in the Honors Integrated Science Program at McMaster University. Through the GSO program, Vidi aimed to gain a deeper understanding of global perspectives and cultivate essential cross-cultural communication skills. Vidi envisioned applying the valuable skill sets she acquired through this experience to her future career as a physician, aiming to improve healthcare practices on a global scale. Alexandra and Vidi, over to you. Uh, welcome to our presentation on our Global Skills Opportunity Internship at the George Institute in Delhi, India. Um, I'm Alex and this is Vidi, and we're just going to go over our internship, um, some of what we learned, and our time in India. So, little introduction first. Uh, who am I? I am a fourth year student in the Bachelor of Health Sciences program at McMaster. I am doing an interdisciplinary minor in globalization and health. I am a social systems evidence office lead at the Forum Lab and a member of the Forum Synthesis team. I'm a student in the City Lab program, which is a community engagement uh, program between the City of Hamilton and McMaster University. And I am also a reader, a runner, a chocolate enthusiast, and a dog lover. There are pictures. Thank you, Alex. Um, who am I? My name is Spitty. I'm currently a first year medical student at the University of Toronto. My undergrad program was also at McMaster within the Integrated Science program, where I was um, attempting to finish my major in biochemistry prior to getting into uh, medical school. And prominently on campus, I was um, an involved member as a community advisor, and I also worked within um, the Sabota Lab, which is part of the McMaster's biochemistry department. Um, in terms of areas of interest, I'm particularly um, focused on global health and women's reproductive health advocacy, and some of the work that I do here also um, intertwines with this theme. And um, I Secondary focus is also on leadership, especially within the realm of medical education. And um, some personal interests obviously include basketball and Grey's Anatomy. Um, and also being in Toronto has really exposed me to a lot of uh, amazing cafes. So I'm still on the run to find nice locations and spots. Okay, so a little bit of an overview of where we were during our internship. We were in Delhi. India. So India has 28 states and eight union territories. And um, 
Delhi or the national capital territory of Delhi is a union territory. So it's not a state. And then New Delhi, um, which everyone com doesn't necessarily know that New Delhi is actually a district within the wider area territory of Delhi. And New Delhi is the capital city of India. Okay. So we did our internship at the George Institute for Global Health in New Delhi. Um, and we were there from July 10th to August 10th. So what is the George Institute? The George Institute or TGI is a research institute with global locations in Austria, China, the UK, and of course, India. TGI's focus is in pursuing research towards a goal of improving health for people across the world, uh, particularly those who are in disadvantaged or equity deserving situations. So in that vein, TGI India conducts their research from a community-based approach that prioritizes interacting with healthcare professionals, policymakers, and most of all patients. Furthermore, their work is rooted in advocacy and humanitarianism, which we saw during our internship there. And then on the slide, I have listed some of the areas of research priority at TGI India, which include mental health, neurology, and trauma, uh, non-communicable disease research, uh, women's health, primary health care, and uh, meta research and evidence synthesis. Okay. During our time at TGI, the two of us were involved in a multitude of projects. Many of these we worked on together, although there are a few that we did separately. And in these next two slides, we're going to give you a brief overview of the projects we worked on. The first one was a realist review that TGI conducted in conjunction with another research group called Sphere. And the focus of this review was on social participation for health reform. So looking at studies where communities participated in some action that led to a change in health systems or health care. We were at TGI during the beginning of this project, so we mostly assisted with the screening stage. A uh, second project we worked on was a multi-year study focused on health equity in Kerala, which is a state in the south of India. The study investigated health equity and barriers and enablers of care at family health centers, which are a part of India's public health care system. So um, in part, the study was looking at these family health centers in comparison to private health care. We worked on this project at its culmination. So we assisted with reviewing the final products, which were a video and fact sheets, which were meant to be distributed to policymakers and public health officials in Kerala. And then a third project, which I was just working on myself, was a study examining the patient-centeredness of care for non-communicable diseases in India, and I assisted with the extraction phase of this. Um, so some other projects that I was also involved in, um, particularly is uh, focusing on community action participation within India. Um, it's framed as uh, the proposal was called Patang, and it's currently um, being reviewed, so I won't talk too much about the specifics of it, but essentially what it involved was um, grant writing and essentially establishing a framework where, where we're able to collaborate with a lot of grassroots organizations and community partners. And um, the whole idea was to enhance community action participation. So I was involved in the development stages of that project as well. Um, I also focus a little bit on environmental sustainability in terms of what it looks like in healthcare and hospital settings across the globe and in various um, hospital environments. And for this one project specifically, uh, TGI was collaborating with uh, some WHO board members. So um, I was able to attend some of the meetings for that. And then um, an independent area that I also worked on was uh, looking, writing a chapter on the status of sex and gender literature within South Asian countries. Um, and a lot of that included that extraction and organization of the content and uh, basically writing that chapter up itself. So based off what Alex and I mentioned, um, our roles at TGI were very diverse. We got to embark on a lot of different projects, but essentially if you want to, it could be summarized into um, that extraction organization, ensuring that we're giving feedback and editing some of the ongoing projects that are already being implemented. Um, we also got a chance to design some uh, projects and proposals and work on some grant writing applications and aspects of it. And lastly, we're also involved in um, research and developmental circles as well as leadership circles, where we got a chance to interact and network with uh, more of the work uh, individuals that work at TGI um, and sort of see how research develops and how we can be better researchers. Okay. Moving on to more of the fun stuff, 
Uh, we are going to tell you a little bit about our adventure in and around Delhi. So this here is a list of some of the awesome places we got to visit while we were in Delhi. Um, some are pictured, some are not pictured. So I just went through it quickly. Uh, we visited Taj Mahal, the Red Fort of Agra, the Lotus Temple, the Lodi Garden, the Sundar Nursery, John Tarmantar, Issa Khan's tomb, uh, the Jama Masjid, India Gate, Mine's tomb, the House Cross Market, Connaught Place, and the Akshardham Temple. Um, and we, as Alex mentioned earlier, we actually also went to Kerala for um, one of the wrap-up meetings happening as part of TGI. So while we were in Kerala, we decided to kind of travel around more places within it, um, particularly Kochi is where we went first, where the meeting was actually happening. And then we traveled up along um, Manar, which is more so where the tea estate gardens values are. Um, then we went more so on the backwater sides, sides which is um, Alapi. And um, we also took a stop at Tarandram or Tiruvandapuram um, and Kovlam at the end. And we also got a chance to go to um, the southernmost point in India called Kanyakumari. Um, so yeah, we also explored that area of India as well. Okay, uh, we're just gonna give you also a little few tips um, that we picked up while traveling through India. So some things we learned, uh, get a SIM card at the airport. They are pretty cheap, uh, I think about no more than $10 and it's super convenient to just them at the airport. Uh, familiarize yourself with local transit. We uh, use the Delhi Metro Transit system a lot, as well as rickshaws and Uber works very well there. It's not ex expensive at all. Uh, learning key phrases. You can also, different regions of India also speak different languages. So that's kind of important to know before you go there. Um, using cash. Most people use cash in India. Um, downloading WhatsApp. Lots of people communicate via WhatsApp. So that is something you'll want to have. Um, yeah, and just want to emphasize that there's a women's only section within um, the metro in Delhi, which is really good, especially from the safety angle of things. Um, and in terms of rickshaws, obviously, um, sometimes if you don't know the price or the rate that they charge, um, the actual prices are often shown on the Uber app itself. So you can actually book rickshaws through Ubers. Um, so it's a good way if you, you know, you don't, you don't have to really talk um, with the, the rickshaw driver. You can just sort of preset the price so you don't have to worry about um, getting, I guess, scammed or <laughs> in that angle. Um, and also, if you are there for a longer amount of time, that like Alex and I were, um, you can refer to a lot of like food delivery apps. He has Mato Swiggy. Um, Big Basket was something that I really relied on because it wasn't just a food delivery app, but it was more so groceries um, and other like hair care body products you needed as well. Um, and they usually deliver it within like a very short amount of time. And most of these apps also have like a cash only setting you could pay at the end, which is nice because a lot of like the PayPal or uh, PayPal or e, I guess, Google Pay transfer setups in India are connected through like a bank account or Indian bank account. So it's often easier just to pay through cash uh, when traveling in India. So what did we learn from our internship? Well, we were only at TGI for a short time, but we both agreed that this was a great opportunity um, and important learning and professional development experience. So um, just talking to me personally, a large part of the internship involved developing cultural competency because uh, coming to Delhi, I had personally never been to India before and I had not had a lot of exposure to Indian culture, which um, even within India, um, there is a lot of, it's a very multicultural country. So I did experience the whole of it while I was in Delhi. Uh, but all this to say, a large part of this internship for me was adapting to the culture and learning to work within the personal and professional norms of this culture, uh, which ties into my next points of communication and collaboration. This internship gave me an opportunity, well, gave both of us an opportunity to work in a team in a research setting that was outside of university. And this setting personally was different from what I'm used to professionally and culturally. So I had an awesome opportunity to develop these skills. Um, I'd also want to touch upon points like networking. Um, we obviously got a chance to collaborate with individuals 
beyond the McMaster realm. Um, but it also exposes to a lot of individuals also intern within TGI and from other places like Australia. Um, so we got to network with individuals from other countries, not only just India itself. Um, and then time management was a big role because, you know, we really want to optimize being able to explore and check out new places, but also be able to work on several projects we're working on. So finding that good balance between when is a good time to actually work on our projects um, and then go outside and look at different places. So that time management angle is also critical. And obviously it goes without saying our research skills were also expanded on, whether it's going through um, literature and scoping review, data extraction, um, grant writing. Uh, we all learned different aspects of those things and we were able to, um, you know, just improve our general overall research skills as well throughout the internship. And finally, some lessons we learned from the trip overall. Uh, so I will just start with asking questions. Um, knowing when I'm out of my comfort zone and asking for help was really important. Um, navigating professional setting and also navigating a very new country for me. Um, as well, humility, taking advice from others, knowing that I am not the expert in the situation and referring to other people's expertise. And then finally, adaptation, letting go of old norms and routines and um, embracing the ones that come with me this. Um, and then for me, alongside all of what, is Alex, what Alex already mentioned, um, I think it was really important for me to reconnect with my culture. Um, this was the first time I was going to India, I guess, as a basically solo traveler without my parents um, or like family members really. And so it gave me a chance to see my culture from a widened perspective um, and really be able to put myself out there as an adult um, and and sort of see uh, India from a different lens than what I was, what I understood it to be growing up. Um, so I think it was really, it was a really useful experience and it really widened my perspective to a lot of different angles, whether it's lifestyles, um, language, culture, religion, um, and other factors like that. So that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for joining us. And we, we really hope that you do enjoy India and the TGI as much as both Alex and I did.